Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here and welcome to the demo of Occupy Mars. Today we're on the planet's surface and we're going to be doing some mining for this demo and see what the game has to offer. We got ourselves a fancy pants spacesuit and of course a really cool looking vehicle that's going to pick up rocks and eventually we're going to do some mining. In this game we can build ourselves a base and we can operate it as well. We'll need things like oxygen and power and of course even water in order to function the base. You can see it way off there in the distance but we're going to go pick up some rocks here and uh, bring those back to base, start crushing them, and then we should be able to get enough iron ore in order to make our own things. Before we hop behind the wheel, or I guess into the driver's seat for this one, we're going to also grab some supplies out of the uh, compartments above the bed, so that way we can survive. We'll need things like, for example, water bottles and oxygen, a little extra just in case uh, we need to refill that. So we're going to just go ahead and grab all that stuff there just in case we need it. And of course, our rover itself is carrying its own inventory, which you can see all this stuff right there. But we won't need any of that yet. We'll come back to that in just a moment. All right, let's hop behind the, uh, I guess, behind the controls. Ooh, this is a really nice interior, although I don't know how I feel about that z yellow zigzag pattern. Ooh. All right, let's roll. So over here is a rock that we're going to need to be able to uh, pick up and put into the tipper trailer, which is behind our uh, vehicle here. So if you know anything about trucking, this is exactly what we're going to do. So we're going to press tab. Uh, to grab, basically control the crane and then dump it into the back of the bed as you see there. So it should be uh, fairly simple, fairly easy. So let's pull up next to the rock. And we want to be about like maybe 10 or 15 meters away from it. That should be pretty good. Let's go into our uh, controls of the crane. We'll switch to uh, crane control. And let's switch to third person mode so we can actually kind of see this. Oh, that looks cool. All right, we're going to shorten the crane just a little bit. Now the crane is a little glitchy. It is a demo I guess so you know it's not as smooth but I'm sure that's one of the least of our worries at the moment is uh, not dying that's a pretty important worry okay let's load that into the back of the trailer and voila I think we have it uh oh get in there you <laughs> hey don't you be don't you misbehave come on now and oh come on now all right, let's try to jiggle it around a little bit. Jiggle, jiggling it, jiggling usually works. There we go. That should be perfect. It actually needs to turn into a uh, material in the back of the truck in order to count. Otherwise, it could come flying out. And so this is basically us trying to secure our load. There we go. That's what we wanted. Perfect. Okay, let's drive to the next location now. So in third person, we'll drive over here now. This is a really cool vehicle, by the way. It feels like a giant caterpillar. You know, like one of those articulated cabs, except it's... Kind of like a, a rolling uh, apartment, but it's like a giant sleeper cab plus uh, trailer. Grinding. All right, we're going to grind this uh, piece of equipment here. So we're going to basically pull out this tool and do that. So this should be fairly easy. Let's pull up over here. And we should be ready to get out of the uh, thingy. There we go. All right, so the Rover is a really cool vehicle. Look at how giant these tires are. That's really impressive. And you can see all your statistics and such on the back of your backpack, too. So if this is multiplayer, which I don't know if it will be or not, but if it is, it'll be really cool to play this with a friend. Could you imagine, oh, Bob's out working the uh, angle grinder down at the crash site, and Steve's over there working the uh, the grinder at the uh, main base, and today I have to go pick up some rocks and start smelting them. That'd be kind of cool. All right, so let's see. By the way, we have some really weird pieces of equipment here. Check this out. Uh, we've got, of course, a water detector. Then we have uh, what I would assume is like something to build, like a blowtorch of some sort. And then we have uh, an impact hammer, which a uh, very, very impactful device uh, can break up rocks such as that one. Then we have ourselves the potato gun, which I'm assuming this turns, uh, slices, dices, and turns everything into french fries. No, I think it's a planter of some sort. And then, of course, our grinder here. There's got to be more tools, though, in the game. So let's get this thing all cut down and uh, finish up with what we're doing here. There we go. That's the sound of progress, kids. Just a little bit longer. Very quiet device. You can barely hear it working. And there it goes. Well, obviously, the uh, sound needs to be balanced, too, because that is awfully loud, and I've turned the sound down about as low as it'll go. Oh, it looks like we picked up a bunch of screws and things from that, too. So picking that up gave us a bunch of uh, random materials uh, for construction. All right, we're tasked with going to pick up more rocks, so let's go do that. And uh, let's get back on board. I think I need a drink after all that work, so let's take a little sip and uh, finish up for uh, the day. Let's see, where do we go to get to our inventory? Um... Let's see, does escape do it? Ah, uh, there it is. Tasks, building inventory. So it looks like there'll be maybe automation in the game and also a uh, 
a way to research stuff. That That's going to be really cool to be able to research stuff. That's going to be neat. All right, let's go ahead and consume that and see how much uh, water that actually gave us. Good. Looks like we're uh, fully ready to go. Interior oxygen is lowering. That's weird. Um, maybe we're supposed to leave one in here. Although I don't... I would assume this vehicle doesn't pull from the cabinet. I'm assuming it has its own dedicated oxygen thing. Look at this seat. It's hideous. We can also sleep here, too. So if we want to wait for a daytime to pass, that's another option. Let's go pick up some more rocks. Wait, what is this? Oxygen extension. Looks like it is producing oxygen. All right. So let's go pick up this thing. I love driving this vehicle. It's very smooth to drive. All right. So clearly we're going to have to break this thing up. So let's zip over here. Uh, mining rocks, equip your jackhammer. Yeah, that's quite obvious. All right, let's uh, get a little bit further away from this thing. Rocks could go flying, so I'm going to purposely drive over here. And let's just pull up next to it about 40 meters away. That seems safe enough. Ah, there we go. Okay, so impact hammer time. Hopefully this is not uh, as loud. All right, rock hammer time. Oh, that's much quieter. Well, that's nice. I wonder if we can eat potatoes like uh, Matt Damon did in that movie called uh, Matt Damon in Space, I think was the name of it. So the ability to build a base in this game is really cool. And the fact that we'll be able to possibly in the future start from scratch, like come down in a landing craft and then start building things like in Surviving Mars where, you know, the first thing you need is oxygen and water production and then the ability to get food delivered. And then, of course, to be self-sufficient, to be able to make our own stuff is really cool. In fact, in... Co concepts of real life all the equipment and such that's being designed in the real world that could use be used on mars or designs or ideas is really cool how they plan to make fuel and things that on mars in order to bring things back all right looks like that's everything we're looking for here that's way too big though let's cut that ore down a little bit more and i'm assuming that there's got to be a vehicle in this game that will be a miner itself so it'll be able to break down these rocks even further Ah, oh, there we go. Now we can load the trailer again. Perfect. So I'm assuming, like, there's going to be a vehicle such as this that'll have some sort of a drill on it that can really cut through that uh, large rock like that. So let's hop up inside, close the door, and let's start picking these bad boys up again. Third-person control. Where is a rock here that we can pick up? Some of these are a little too big, but... Uh, oh, that one looks like a lot smaller right there. Okay, we'll squeeze in next to that one. Okay, this one should be doable. So let's switch over to the crane. Uh, that was weird. It didn't work for a second. Okay. Let's grab this rock. And let's grab it and bring it on board. Uh-oh. Uh Maybe it's too heavy. Let's try this other rock. Nope, they still seem too heavy. Okay, let's go ahead and break these down a little bit more. Don't worry, we got our trusty impact hammer. Looks like these are all kind of separate. Oh, wow. Did I fall through the surface? There we go. I guess we have to break these down even further. Oh, now it breaks down. E oh, interesting. So you can break down iron ore into small ore or silicon rocks. Can we pick these up ourselves? Oh, we can actually store these in our inventory, too. I don't know why the impact hammer's working on them, but maybe that's a way to pick them up. Is to break them down even further. All right, that's kind of cool. Okay, so now we know we can get different materials depending on how far we break stuff down. So that'll probably require different devices. Let's switch back to the crane. And now hopefully the crane will be able to pick up some of these other rocks now. Oh, such as that one. That one seems to fly around easily. Come here, sir. I need you. Open up the crane arm. Grab hold of it again. Alright, so pieces like that are a little too big. Looks like it could fit in the trailer, but let's try one of these smaller ones then. Hopefully this one will go. There we go. Cool. Well, that's a really neat thing to find out. So now if we ever need silicon for anything, we are good to go. Oh, they want me to go up there now. Okay. All right, so we're all done with that. Let's go back to uh, driving. Got to get out of the way of that uh, giant rock piece there. So that's really cool. 
So giant pieces might be able to be transported by larger vehicles, otherwise broken down and put into the trailer, and then even be made smaller, so that way if you need silicon now, you can do it that way. But I'm assuming the way to really do it is make medium-sized rocks, put them in the trailer, and then drive up to something like this. Uh, the shredder. Park the heavy rover in the right spot. Press unload in the main screen. Keep in mind that the shredders require power. Once you're finished with the unloading, uh, oh, we can print components and devices here. So not only is this thing a shredder, but it also processes the materials like a 3D printer. That's cool. Crane, what are you doing? Oh, you're folding up. Nice. All right, so this thing requires power, and we have plenty of solar panels over there, and I can see the cords going right to the, uh, right to this thing here. Powering the shredder. The shredder doesn't have enough energy to operate. This 3D printer shredder control panel, use it to print parts, but first you need to supply 25 kilowatts. Go down to the power station and reconnect the cables to, to reconfigure the transformer. Robot in disguise. Okay, let's stop here then, as we're indicated. It looks like the uh, back end has opened up. And we see a giant shredder down there. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and take a peek out there. Looks like we need to do a little jump. There we go. So yeah, you can see the the pit back here is opened up. Yeah, so that's where we're going to dump things off. Okay, so let's find our way around here. Let's take a look at our statistics. Ooh, spacesuit oxygen is a little low. Let's uh, get some more of that before we go about our journey. Let's go ahead and consume some of that O2. There we go, nice. Getting a little hungry, though. I don't think there's any Arby's in space, but if there was, well, their roast beef would just be out of this world. Let's go ahead and see if we can reconfigure things. Cable management. Oh, this is very much like um, the Gold Rush game, where you have to move all your cables and hoses around. Move the cable from the inventory to a free spot in your hotbar, and then uh, one to six in order to select it from the hotbar and move the cable uh, by selecting the plugs. Got it. So it looks like there's already a cable that's going up to... Uh, this giant shredder. So hold on, let's follow where this goes. So it's got one cable already plugged in, and it is lit up. Oh, so I'm assuming this giant structure here is something we'll be able to build in the future, wherever we want, and then we'll just have to connect power to it, so that's kind of cool. Alright, so this cable goes over here to the transformer. Um, let's see, cables, transformers, manage batteries, you can use the transformer. Oh, output values, okay. So we can basically adjust what, how much power is going and where. So it looks like there's a spot there to plug that in. And it might need to come over here, though. It looks like it's already done. So let's take a look here at the control panel and see if we can configure this thing any further. So stand by. Okay, cool. Energy storage control unit. Got it. Uh, input, output. Uh, so there's zero output. I see. So let's go ahead and increase the power out. Now it requires 25, so we do need to at least provide 25 to the shredder. There we go. That should be correct. Although we didn't have to do anything for the power cable, but that's probably just a note for the future. Okay, so this thing requires 25, so it looks like it's right. The output is always limited to current battery charge. So it looks like we're inputting 21 kilowatts an hour, and this is going to be consuming 25. So at some point, we are going to need to build a... Um, we are going to need to build another... Uh, solar panel because the batteries are being drained right now. And what is this thingy here? This is the energy control unit. Ah, so that's showing all the output. Oh, can we increase the output of certain things? Um, oh, this is where else it's going, I see. Um, so input and then output over here to all these other um, thingies. So this is probably like a water generator thing in our habitat and a few other things like that. Yeah, so that's like our base there. That probably is a well for gathering water. In fact, it does say uh, ho water there. Not H2O, but just simply ho. Okay. All right, let's go over to uh, the shredder and see if that's functioning now. I hope that uh, was enough power for it, but we can also get some cables and stuff if we need to do that. That may have just been a note on uh, what needs to be done in order to connect all that stuff together. So it looks like it's on standby now. And perfect, it is operating. Excellent. So now let's go ahead and dump off the uh, stuff so it can actually make something. All right, let's jump inside. Ah, we can actually unload right here. And there goes the tipper trailer right into the shredder. Beautiful. And we can see all those rocks coming out. If you look closely, you might be able to see it, kind of. Okay, cool. So that's all done. So let's get this thing off the, uh, off the dock. 
That's really cool. Man, to be able to do this with like two or three friends would be incredible. I'd love that so much. Okay, let's park right here. And let's go up to the very top. So now we got to print something out. Oh, the animations of the uh, spacesuit guy is pretty good. I don't know what, what you call him, astronaut, Marsian. I don't, I don't know if he even lives here yet. Marzipan, that's what we'll call him. All right, select a blueprint. Uh, anything we need to make? Shredders to, oh, a battery component, okay. Battery components is what we're looking for. So let's see. Um, water pipe, big cable. Would that be under electronics, maybe? I don't see just... Oh, is there a search? Oh, there's search. Battery. Oops. Battery pack. Is that what we want? Let me make sure before we do that. Uh, use the shredder's screen to print battery components. Well, the only type thing I type in here is battery pack, so that must be a component. So let's try that again. Battery. Battery pack is all we have, so that might be enough. Okay, let's go ahead and print one of those. Uh, move the printed parts from your container to your inventory. Uh, okay, so it can be stored here too, and then we can start placing things and then building them. Excellent. So let's do that. Uh, looks like it's printing now. It's in the printing queue. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that's really cool. And then it's dropped down below. Okay. So it's going to make three of those. And then we probably need to build another solar panel in order to charge this thing. Looks like it can make two at a time. Or maybe more than one. No, actually, it looks like this might be able to unload big pieces and then bring them inside the printer. Now, that would be really cool. Okay, the <laughs> that just looked like it flew all over when it was going down. That's great. All right. Well, that's cool. So, it goes into some sort of sub-storage. That's really neat. Okay, let's go ahead and check out this again. So, inventory. Um, printer container. So, these are electronics. And these are aluminum plates, glass plates, and screws. And then this is my player container, shredder container. Ah, you can see that this also has iron, aluminum, silicone, and calcium inside. That's really cool. Very cool. Okay. And I actually have some silicone with me and aluminum and other things that I got off of salvaging the uh, spacecraft earlier. And then, of course, also the... Um, oh, what is this? Uh, printer container... More stuff here. Oh, is that the battery components? Oh, processed food. Oh, give me one of those. Hold on, we better have a. Hold on, it is lunchtime. Let's have let's have a snack now. Uh, let's see inventory. Oh, did I? Uh, ah, look at that. I offloaded my whole inventory. So that was me selecting it. It was actually taking it from that to the printer. So now we have our stuff back. Good thing I stopped to see that. Uh, let's see here. What do we have? Electronics. Uh, small engines we have on board. That's interesting. Processed food. All right, let's go ahead and have ourselves some uh, Arby's. There we go. Beautiful. Oh, looks like they only gave us a little bit. All right, let's munch a few more times. And a sip of water. Which, that oxygen bottle really looks like a water bottle. They should make a difference between those two. Even though it says H2O, my mind immediately goes to thinking right away that it's just uh, simply um, just water or oxygen. Okay, so now we need to grab these parts and start building stuff, right? So it says to uh, build a battery device. Use blowtorch to build this device. Okay, so we need to build something. So we have our blowtorch now and uh, to build this, the device. Okay, so I'm assuming it wants us to build like another solar panel. I just wanted to see if anything else came down at the bottom of the facility. So it looks like all the stuff will be just uh, transferred from the very top up there. Uh, from the computer, so that's going to be a cool thing. So let's go ahead and grab some of that stuff. It's now uh, daytime in Mars. I think it was um, like early morning when we started, which explains like the beautiful fog. And now you can see the whole valley here. So we started off in that distance. So we can start cutting down all those rocks and bringing them all back to base in order to convert everything into whatever we need to. That might be the 3D thingy there or some sort of storage container. So we get a l pretty large area to drive around and mine in. But of course, we got to do other things like farming and whatnot, too. That's kind of really cool to see. I like that. Okay, so printer container. Uh, looks like we did take everything that was needed. I just don't see the battery packs in the list, though. And that's just raw materials there. So it seems like we've got it. I wonder if we can move stuff around with the truck, too. It'd be kind of cool if we could store components in the truck just outside the inventory. All right, let's take a look at what this is. This looks suspiciously like one of the battery packs that we had earlier. Oh, this is a thing. 
It says ready. What is this exactly? Insert container name here. Ah, so it's a container fully loaded with a bunch of, uh, well, not fully loaded, but ready to be fully loaded with a bunch of stuff. So we can actually use this uh, to store all the stuff from the 3D printer or wherever. Kind of cool. All right, let's go to the blowtorch now and figure out what we need to build there and probably go into the build menu to build a, another solar panel. So let's see if we can select that. So we want to build electricity. We have a small solar panel, medium size. Can we build one of those? Looks like we can. 12 out of 9, 75 out of 50. Yeah, it looks like we could build a... Oh, but we want to build a battery pack, don't we? Although I, I would argue we probably should build a solar panel instead. Because uh, it just would be a better idea to make more stuff. We could also turn off the usage to the uh, larger 3D printer now. So let's do that. And we'll also get our cables together so that way we can uh, do that. Okay, so battery capacity is 112 out of 180. So let's go ahead and turn off the output. So we don't need any more batteries, so we can shut that thing completely off. It'd be nice if there was a way to just turn off or on. Okay, so this should start charging then. 21 in, so eventually it'll hit 180. So that's the battery's maximum. So that's neat. So these are batteries, and then these are kind of a switching station. Like, kind of like the, uh, the just a giant outlet where everything goes to. And then, of course, it supplies all the different uh, things. And you can see what's connected to it, too. So it's kind of nice if you make an area of a bunch of solar panels, you can see which ones are connected and which ones aren't. So that's good. Okay, let's make a device. Let's try to make another medium-sized solar panel. Although they did say something about a battery pack. But uh, let's do a medium solar panel. Now, how do we rotate? Let's see. R doesn't work. Mouse wheel doesn't work. I'm assuming it'll maybe rotate on itself based on where the uh, sun is facing. It looks like they're kind of facing the sun now, but let's try to build one right here. And let's build them far away from each other so they have opportunity to turn if needed. And let's grab that blowtorch. Oh, yeah. Hot construction action. Do I need to be out here? Oh. Whoa. Oh, I see. Cool. Nice. Okay, so now that's up and running. Perfect. In my inventory, we should have some cables. So let's put that on inventory slot six. So we have 2,000 or 200, maybe that's meters worth of cable. So, wow, that's a, that's a, that's a big, that's a big cable. Oh, this is actually a hose for water. That's cool. All right, so we have one of these braided cable or a braided, um, Looks like that's a hose, at least. Could be insulated for some reason. Okay, what is this here? A small cable. Oh, this looks to be the same. Oh, that's a water pipe. Oh, they look pretty much the same. Except for, you can see the ends of them are a little different. That's kind of cool. Okay, so now we have water pipe as well. So let's go ahead and connect this together. So, uh, let's see. Flip up the socket here. There we go. And then we'll bring it over here to this machine. And it looks like <laughs> as soon as I'm finishing this, now the sun's going away. Great. Uh, uh, expected significant temperature drop in one hour. Great, we got to go indoor before we die. I guess he didn't grab the other side of the cable. So you first plug it in, then grab the other end of the cable, then walk over here. I guess I'm used to how it works in Gold Rush, but it's pretty much the same thing. You walk and it'll lay out the cable. Oh. Huh, why is that not working? Oh, we can charge our suit here. That's kind of cool. So we get power and stuff there. Well, this socket looks the same as these ones, just a different color. But it must be different if it's a different color. Huh. Okay. Oh, build a battery device is the other thing they want me to do. Although we could have started with that too. Well, let's build a battery device then. So battery pack is what we want to build as well. All materials we have for everything, so it's totally fine. We'll build another battery pack maybe next to this battery pack and daisy chain them together. Bum, 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 bum. There we go. All right, let's build one of these now, too. Makes sense that we were building another solar panel because we're going to need more power. 
but battery pack is also needed for the tutorial. Open your tasks, press Q to select a task, try to, yep, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see, find a tablet with a geothermal data, oh wow, plant and grow 10 potatoes, charge a heavy rover, oh boy. All right, let's go inside. Oh, now the, now the mission actually begins. Gather 200 iron, so our mission then is basically to grow potatoes and gather iron ore uh, to show that we can actually do this kind of stuff. That's kind of cool. So get yourself packed and ready. You got it. Mine rocks. No, they're mine. Can we go inside this building? They did say there was going to be a significant temperature drop. And indeed there is. Oh, looks like we can go in here. Oh, you, there's a code? Who's going to break in? Supply the base. Pressure in, pressure out, system active, maybe auto? Hello? Oh boy. Alright, well, there, it looks like there's no going into the base. So let's go into the truck. There we go. Alright, we're a little safer now. So we've got interior oxygen increasing, and then uh, hunger and st other stuff will be okay on. Alright, let's see here. Wow. Let's turn the lights on. Nice. Not too bad the base doesn't become light uh, lit up. But now we have an extra solar panel. So when it's daytime again, I can connect those batteries all together, and we should have power to run everything at the same time. So it looks like we have a water generator there, and it is connected to the base. So it looks like there's a power cable maybe coming. I see the green light. So that must be being supplied by power. And then, of course, it's supplying water to the base. And then, yeah, looks pretty cool. All right, let's go do some extra work. Yeah, no matter what, we're going to need extra solar panels and batteries, so that's going to be half of our building, too, is when we build a new building, we got to be able to supply it with power. And we also need to charge up the truck. So we might need to build a power station for this thing. So let's see what else we can build when we've got the time. Let's see here. So airlocks, we already had one of those. Uh, corridors, We oh, we can build a base a little bit bigger, just like in Subnautica. That's cool. We have a well... Doesn't look like we have anything to specifically charge the truck, so maybe we'll need to uh, be able to build something like that in order to do it, like a like a cable coming to it. Uh, let's see, going back, 100%, make sure it's charged, get, get everything done right away. So this is completing the mission then. Supply electricity to all buildings, mine rocks, charge the heavy rover, grow 10 potatoes. Uh, we need to get 200 iron in the container, so that just basically is an easy job of driving around and picking up rocks, which we can do. Uh, even during night. Although, what, what's the uh, charge of the uh, current vehicle here? System ready. Ah, so the battery is a little less than half. So we'll go ahead and charge that tomorrow. And let's continue to pick up rocks. Oh, there we go. It unfolds. Nice. All right, folks. Well, that does it for me for Occupy Mars. I want to come back and finish up all those tutorial objectives sometime soon. So if you want to see more, if you want to support the channel, make sure you drop that like on the way out. And I appreciate you all tuning in here today. Occupy Mars should be available on PC, but just check out wherever games are sold to see availability and pricing. You guys are awesome. So thanks for being one of the best communities on YouTube. And I hope to see you all next time for more. I really want to come back and do this uh, right by completing all the objectives and it should be a good game to live stream so if you want to see it make sure you turn that notification bell on to all otherwise you'll miss out on all videos and live streams i'll see you all next time take care and goodbye